So in the last video, you saw how to work with Cloudflare and the video before that, you saw how to work with child name servers. So in this video, let's see how to install WordPress and also how to work with the file manager. So the first thing I want to do is to show you how you can install WordPress using CyberPanel. The first thing I want you to do is if you don't have a website set up, I'm assuming that you know how to create that by now and you saw how to do that in one of the last videos. So you can just click here to create a website. Maybe you want to add a new domain, select a package, select the owner, what, which domain name do you want to use, add an email address, select the PHP version, and then select all these other features. So if you already have DNS records, you can select SSL as well. But if your DNS records are still not set up, then don't add that, just leave that. You can do that later on. So let's forget about that for now. And we'll just come here under websites because I already have one website that is set up and I did set up that a couple of videos ago. So let's use that to install WordPress. We want to see the websites that we created and I'm going to go into list website and this is going to list for me all the websites that I've created on cyber panel. I'll just choose this and I can come here and click on manage. So when I choose manage, I will be able to do various tasks with my site. One of which of course includes installing WordPress. What you want to see is under WordPress. So if you come down here, you can install WordPress with LS cache and you, and you can also install all these others. But for me, I want to install WordPress. So I'm just going to click there, install WordPress. And it's going to come in a new window. So while that is loading, you can also look at the file manager. The file manager is going to allow you to upload, download, edit, delete files within your website. So as long as you choose a certain website, you can delete the files in that website. And we're going to see that in a moment as soon as we install WordPress. So I'm going to install WordPress. So let me just give it a title of sample. Login user, I'll just use admin. And then login password, I'll just use password. Yeah, I need an email. I can just use sample at Gmail. And you can install it in a directory if you want to. This is a nice security feature for your website actually. So if you know how to do this, make sure you do this because it's very helpful for you. It's going to help protect you from various spam. Certain spam usually just traverse your website. And if you install it under a folder, it's going to make it much difficult for certain spamming bots to spam you. So I'll just click here and install now. Give it time to install. Let's see if our website is live actually. I haven't looked at it since we set it up. Let's just see what's up with that domain. We added it. All right, so WordPress is already installed. Activating LS Cache plugin. So these are just various things that it's going to do. So it's installing it, adding LS Cache. LS Cache is a nice plugin that will just help to try to speed up your site. And it actually does a good job, to be honest. So WordPress is installed. You can log into your WordPress. Just go into JavaScript bear slash WP admin. You can log into your website and do whatever you want to do. But that is all that I want to do about that. If you want to learn about WordPress, there are lots of tutorials about that on YouTube, on Udemy, everywhere you'll always find a tutorial for WordPress. So the next thing I want to do a tutorial for here is file manager. So once you choose a website that you want to manage its files or you want to manage in general, you can just come under files and then you can do file manager. So here under file manager, let's just open this in a new tab and under file manager, you can upload, download, you can literally do everything you want to do on your file manager, as long as it involves managing your files. All your website files are stored here under public HTML and you can see WordPress is installed. You can delete 
the sample file, sample config file, you can just select an item and then if you right click, you can click to delete it. Confirm, delete. And what else do we have here? So you can edit your HT access files. You can edit all these files, okay? Just select any element here. Let's select index.html and click on edit. And you can edit that. I should actually delete this because this is from the initial installation that was on the on that website. We don't need that. Anything else that you want to do here, you can select a bunch of things. Just click to select, select, and then you can. Is there an option to compress? Yes, there's an option to compress. You can compress. And compression type, I will use zip and then compress. And now if I look here, you'll see I have that and you can use that to move all your websites somewhere else. Maybe you're moving to a different installation. You can use that to move your files. So that's pretty much it about the file manager. Now the next thing that I want to look at, the next thing that I want to talk about here under my website is if you come here, under your new WordPress installation, and then you go into, let's just go into this post. And I want to open it in a new tab because I will use this to log in. So if I come here and you look at, you look at the URL, you look at the URL, you see, look at that. We don't want that, do we? That is not what we want. What we want is a friendly URL. So I'm going to go into my admin dashboard and my login was admin so just note this the moment i come here under settings and then i go into permalinks And then I come here and I want to use this format for my URLs because it is very user friendly. It is also SEO friendly. The moment I change it to this type of permalink, what will happen is if I come back here, I'm going to get a 404. You can see I'm going to get a 404, but I can fix it very easily. I'll just go to Google and then I will Google, what should I Google? Let me Google WordPress. I'll just Google WordPress friendly permalink. So let's see if we'll get that option here. I can actually use the one, no. Uh, okay, that was a bad Google. Let me search for WordPress HT access. So I've Googled WordPress HT access for, for. So for that, you can even go to you can use the one from WP Beginner. I think this this will this will also work. So I should just use that. So if I come here and I scroll down, there is there is this begin WordPress. This you need to add this when you're on Apache or when you're on Lightspeed. Lightspeed supports HT access directive, so we can use this. So what I'm going to do is I can come here under file manager and here under HT access, I can edit the HT access file. I can edit that. Okay. So this is already added here. So what's the problem? What, since we installed WordPress using, using cyber panel, that option is already added. So the problem is we have not restarted. We have not restarted the server. You can restart the server or you can just do a quick fix by going back into let's go back inside here where is okay we can come back here and let's go into vhost is it vhost let's look at rewrite rules i can come here under rewrite rules and what i need to do is i just need to i just need to make a small change here and then reload the page so i can even just add a space and then I will save rewrite rules 
And the beauty with this is that it's going to refresh the HT access file. So once we do that, if I come back to where we had this 404 and I try to reload, all right, it's still going to give us 404. But now the 404 is actually coming from WordPress and not from the server. You can note the difference due to the page. So that means that our URL permalink is working. So if we come back here, the URL is now based on the title and it's showing us the pages. So that's something that you need to do when you install WordPress. Make sure that you use, so maybe you did not install your WordPress using, perhaps you didn't install your WordPress using Cyber Panel, you just moved it from somewhere else. Ensure you copy this, add that on your server, and then just refresh it using refresh it right there by just making a change under there and then saving again and that's going to make these changes reflect on your server so that's an important thing that you need to do so in this video you've seen how to install wordpress and you've also learned something about the file manager so that's two in one actually three in one if you consider changing the hd access file that's three in one in one tutorial so in the next video let's just see how you can how you can import a WordPress website into your into your server. So what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to go into the file manager and I want to delete everything that is inside here. I will select all except for this one. And uh, is there anything else here that I shouldn't delete? I want to delete all of it because in the next video, I'm going to show you how to import your WordPress into this same, same, website that you've set up on cyber panel so i'm going to click there to delete just keep trash and delete everything permanently all right so you can see right now our website is empty if i go to the front end you're going to get a 404 because it doesn't know what to do right but you can just set up we can just set up an index file inside here. New file, let's call it index.html. And I can edit that and just say, save and now, if you come back, all right, so that's a 404, but if you go to the homepage, there we go, our homepage is as we want it. So in the next video, we're going to see how we can upload our WordPress and then work with the database. So I will see you in the next, in the next video. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know.